Hi friends, good evening. Uh, today it is uh, 3rd uh, no, March 2022 and uh, <clears throat> the time is you know, 8.30 p.m. Uh, as we discussed last week that you know, I have put a video on all the indices at a glance and I clearly mentioned that you know, uh, uh, this video, uh, all indices at a glance, March last week. So I've clearly mentioned about Nifty, uh, CNX, you know, PSC index. Uh, I clearly mentioned really bullish on this guy. Watch out for this guy. You can go and watch this video, which I, which I made last week. Uh, on 27th March and this week, this guy was a rocker and it has given a buy uh, in my system today. Uh, that is on Friday. Let's see how it is going to plan out, but I am extremely bullish on this in index. So uh, I say why I mentioned this because last month, you know, it had two TCD date and many uh, stocks of PSC, uh, you know, stocks came into my radar and had a combination dates, all are literally locked and still many are, you know, is it to perform. So I'm expecting something really big is going to happen and it is at the multi-year breakout. If that happens, uh, you know, this guy is going to really rock. So watch out for these companies, all are at, you know, 200 rupees, 150 rupees kind of a stuff. You know, you can use it with a you know minimal stop loss. Uh, you know, with your system or technical tool, and you can make use of it. I already done a webinar to my followers today, and we talked very detail about uh, you know all the PSU uh, PSE companies and what are the companies which we need to you know work out for. So I am extremely bullish on this guy, and uh, let's go to uh, you know uh, this uh, week uh, you know forecast. And uh, straight away, uh, if you go to Nifty, uh, I've already uh, made a video on uh, you know, uh, cryptos. You can go and watch that video. Today was the very important day. Mark the high and low of today and let's see what is going to happen. Okay, so now coming to Nifty, uh, it has broken my, uh, now it broke my system yesterday and it was trading above this red color line. And now I'm going to keenly watch whether it is going to give a buy here and whether it's going to be genuine buy from here. See, last time it gave a buy here but it was not genuine it was a fake buy and this is what even i have talked about in the last you know so many weekly forecast video watch out once it gives a buy if the next candle is closed below this buy then it is not a genuine buy then from here we have seen a fall of roughly around 2500 points so my my system will able to capture you know the topmost the fake entries of many people and we are able to escape from these kind of stuff based on our system and coming to ishimoku uh, you know uh, it exactly you know went above and when when the cloud was very minimal and uh, you know uh, first april was our ishimoku date and it literally blocked and the expansion happened here after a lot of consolidation after the very important date of 21st march you know it expanded so now unless and until if nifty doesn't close below first april low we don't need to worry about nifty at all on the short side and i've already given my monthly game changer number to till it holds monthly game changer number you don't need to worry about nifty at all and coming to bank nifty uh, coming to bank nifty one second It is exactly at my system uh, design. So now it has to break. Uh, PSU index has to give uh, some kind of, uh, you know, PSU banks has to give some kind of move from here so that this guy also will rock. But the important date for Bank Nifty is 6th April. Watch out for 6th April high and low. And let's see whether it is going to break this red color and it's going to perform on the top side. Uh, you all know the three best counters on the PSU banks are, you know, SBI, CAN Bank, and BOB. So all three are looking good, but it to perform. Let's see whether it is going to perform. And again, I am watching this, uh, you know, on uh, whether it is going to give a buy this week and whether the next candle it's going to sustain above that buy candle. Here, you know, it gave a buy candle. The next candle is not sustained above this from 39,000. This was the fake buy where many people entered thinking that it will go to 45,000. But exactly, you know, we are able to catch this top based on our system. And from there, we dropped around roughly around 5,000 points from the top. 
So let's see what whether it is going to give a genuine buy here. Uh, it is not even crossed to this red, but I am keenly watching on Nifty because it has crossed to my red color design and went up. Let's see this coming week whether it is going to give a genuine buy after the buy signal has come. Okay, so this is uh, the simple analysis. Uh, and if you want to go to the graph and see this, uh, most probably uh, you know the possibility of touching you know uh, this number which is you know eighteen thousand one hundred fifty four level. And from there, the drop towards the Ichimoku, you know, flat line, year up to seventeen thousand thirty-three, and possibility of you know uh, going up. But let's see whether it is going to uh, you know close above and give a higher high formation at least this time, and uh, you know uh, nullify uh, the bearish signal. We need to wait and watch. Uh, let's see you know how it is going to plan out. But according to my study says, uh, maybe April may be bullish, but. May month be very very careful on the market. Very very careful on the market on May month. Uh, let's watch. You know uh, we have the dates. Uh, once it breaks, uh, the day is low. Uh, when the time comes, we will definitely go short. So as of now, everything looks good. Uh, my critical number, you all know that seventeen thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven, and I've given all the numbers in my PPT, so you can use it. And again, telling till it holds. This month monthly game changer bearish number. We don't need to worry in case if it comes down to that level. Maybe we can take a chance with thirty-three points stop loss in Nifty, or maximum you can take forty-five points stop loss on the Nifty, and from there you can go long. If it breaks, then you need to be really careful on the market. Okay, I will I will show that you know monthly game changer numbers. So as of now, these two guys a uh, little okay, but this guy is literally raw. Uh, one second. This guy is literally rocked. One second. Sorry. Yeah, it has given a buy yesterday. That is on Friday. Now my only question is whether it is going to give one more candle on the upside to uh, say it is a genuine buy. Once this happens, this guy is near the multi-year breakout. This guy can do wonders. So uh, my my uh, counters, which I am watching out for, is which I've already told the last uh, uh, month that you know uh, more than you know four PSU uh, companies are you know it came into uh, you know TCD combination dates. One is BEL, BHEL, Gale, ONGC, and REC, and we are already long in NTPC and BHEL. Uh, watch out for these three companies. Mark the high and low. I've already given the dates here. Uh, you know, uh, 214, 207, you can keep 207 as a stop loss in BEL and you can go long simply. Or if it comes very near to the 207 level, you can take a chance with one rupee stop loss. So this this is why, uh, you know, I said because PSU index last, last month, it had two TCD. Uh, I'm talking about the index and these four counters came, five counters came into my radar and every everybody performed very well and I'm expecting some more upside. Uh, on these counters, especially BHEL, uh, we talked to very detail about uh, in our you know uh, uh, two hours webinar uh, before you know uh, you know uh, three hours that uh, you know the the target which I'm expecting minimum in BHEL is sixty two rupees uh, till it holds fifty rupees. So watch out for these counters. Uh, you know uh, you can this can do wonders. Okay. So uh, then we go to uh, PPT. I don't want to go detail into you know, graph and uh, talk about more on that. Let's go to the PPT. Okay, so our first date, April 1st date, which is our Excel sheet date plus Ichimoku date rocked. And we, I've, I've given this number 20 days before. You can go and watch my video. I've said, this is the date. It's a Ichimoku date combination of Excel sheet date. So next date is April 11th, which is again Ichimoku date. Uh, 14th April, and this is the combination 18, 19, 20, and 29. So watch out for these dates, and always remember, whenever the trend change date happens, Nifty will give minimum 200 points on the upside or downside, and Bank Nifty will give minimum 750 points on the upside or downside. The first 15 minutes I in load decide everything, right? And coming to monthly game changer number, I've already told you when the difference is very small, it will bust. So this is what has happened. If you take uh, you know, Nifty, Bank Nifty spot, the difference is very, very small. Difference is very, very small. So it busted. So keep this, mark this in your system. Keep it ready. If it comes to this level, for, you know, for 17,465, you can take a long with a stop loss of this in case if the market gives the opportunity. So unless and until 
if the bearish number is not breached in nifty and bank nifty for this month you can stay long in this market okay let's talk about you know in case if the next trend change comes i will definitely know and tomorrow i will give you my weekly game changer number at 70907 uh, april tomorrow is 4th to 8th okay so i'll give this number uh, which will also give a lot of cushion for us to hold the long uh, let's see how it's going to do and uh, uh, nifty auto uh, is in the verge of coming out of the bearishness obviously you know you all know uh, my favorite is tata motors we are already long in tata motors uh, bajaj auto is doing extremely well let's watch whether you know auto is going to rock this week but my focus is on psu index okay so now uh, last week i have already given uh, you know the numbers it's literally rocked and now the pivot for this week is 17689 and bank nifty 17253 which is very very critical because this is my red color line in my trading system so it has to break this number and close above this number so watch out for this guy once it breaks 17689 these are the obstacles on the upside watch out for these numbers right and uh, trend change rate uh, literally you know done and dusted and uh, uh, break about first april high minimum 250 points on the upside on the nifty and 750 points on the bank nifty right and always remember this i don't need to repeat again and again and again whenever it breaks the trend change date on the higher side minimum 250 points on the upside whenever it breaks the trend change date low minimum 250 points on the downside so watch out and use your own stop loss use your trading system to in, for the entry and exit okay uh, now again ichimoku timing uh, last week i we have given the ichimoku timing uh, you know uh, for nifty which is 215 to 315 and the candle was so big on that timing that's how ichimoku works so now coming to nifty watch out for this timing on a a 4th april 1 15 to 2 15 pm which is tomorrow and for bank nifty 5th april 1 15 to 3 15 candle which is two hour candle high and low so this week this one hour candle of nifty and two hour candle of bank nifty will decide everything and you have the numbers with you and tomorrow i will post my uh, one magic number at uh, sorry a weekly game changer number at 9 17 am and uh, okay ircetc is already in my radar and this is my pick of the month and second pick of the month in auto it is tvs motor because it is having true trend change rate and it is at a very very critical stage it is going to it may bust one side and we discussed more about the stock one number magic uh, with my followers today and the number for tvs motor is 617 uh, till it holds 617 there is no worry in case if it again comes to 617 we will take a call on the buy side our stop loss is 610 on the closing basis and my target is much much bigger on the upside right maybe if it breaks 629 my first target is 665 and second target is 729 right this is based on something else uh, you can use your graph you can use your technical tool and uh, you can ride uh, you know on the upside or the downside okay so these are the counters tcd counters for tomorrow the trend change rate is for this counter is on second second is holiday so these counters you can watch for tomorrow jindal steel jsw steel maruti mine tree britannia is having the yearly date tomorrow so watch out for this counter yearly date mark the high and low of britannia of tomorrow and watch it if it breaks the high of tomorrow simply buy with the stop loss of tomorrow's low okay canfin home jindal steel jsw steel maruti mine tree britannia and c cement which uh, you cannot trade all these counters use your best one in this and use it and we are going to trade this week only on tvs motor and i'm giving one more clue to you all that hdfc limited is having a two three trend change date this month end 28 29 and 30 mark this dates three dates it is going to blast big time one side 
big time one side maybe on the high side or maybe on the low side it is already trading at a low so i don't know what is going to happen but the date is happening only in the month of in the month end so 28 29 and 30 of hdfc limited is very very crucial so watch out for these dates and uh, i have given the numbers for tomorrow this is only applicable for tomorrow uh, this is 4th april sorry i have already not changed it it is for 4th april so i think i have not done it okay anyway uh, i will do this uh, later and uh, coming to weekly number this is my weekly number for coming week okay nifty spot on the buy side nifty spot on the sell side our weekly pivot number is 17689 and for bank nifty and if you observe all these four numbers are in green it means in blue it means it is bullish okay and again till it all oh, now no one magic number nothing to worry in bank nifty right if it comes down to this level simply you can buy with a stop loss of 99 points watch out for these numbers uh, it will really help you and this is our weekly bullish number and bearish targets so and pivot i've already given 37253 tomorrow at least and bank nifty has to hold 37253 at least for 30 minutes to ride the trend on the upside okay so this i've already given and uh, i will go to the excel sheet for the combination dates for this month okay so april month combination dates are brilla soft canfin ohm cholamandalam city union bank is in my radar for this month hdfc limited 28th and 29 and my excel sheet date is 30th so three dates are combining and info edge you can watch it is having a two trend change date in nestle pfizer is already in my radar we bought it and it was little down but i am bullish on this counter let's watch and pretty light steel cement and the last counter is tvs motor the sixth is the date mark the sixth high and low of tvs motor and you can write on the one side and it is having one more combination date based on excel so i am i am really uh, you know uh, bullish on this counter till it holds 610 on the closing basis let's watch and yesterday's close was 628.75 i have already given the target first target 665 and second target 729 maybe if you want i will go to the chart we will discuss only about uh, tvs motor and then we can close this presentation it is exactly took the support from my you know uh, shakti which is pink color line and moved here and this is my long term number and short term number which is 522 and 518 this is what we discussed in our webinar today and it took exact support from there and our monthly stock one number magic is 617 so if it comes to 617 if it breaks below and it, if it take you know breaks below the trend line i will go short but i will try to buy again uh, when it comes to 617 with a stop loss of 610 if it breaks 610 then i will definitely go short but it is going to give one side big move and once it crosses this red color line this red color line which is 645.20 and the trend line also is coming there this blue color line once it breaks out it will bust on the upside and the next uh, if you take uh, this was the last trend change date of tvs motor on february 16th february one second i'll tell you the date it is 17th february it had a yearly date that is why it is you know yellow color and from there it is not able to went above this high and from there it crashed okay so now once it breaks this day high 17th february high which is 679 this guy is going to do wonders so let's watch i have already given my target i am very bullish on this counter again saying watch out for psc counters bhcl gail ntpc power grid rec pfc many counters are there whichever you like you know please use it with the stop loss and enjoy the trend let's see whether it is going to give one more candle on the upside tomorrow to confirm this bullishness okay to confirm this bullishness once it breaks this median line normally you know the median line will attract towards it 
once it breaks this uh, you know 4291 i think this guy is going to rock let's watch a uh, big big mood uh, you know to catch it okay so uh, i'm just closing it oh, again tomorrow morning wait for my 907 number uh, my subscribers and uh, 917 weekly game changer number again saying i'm not a sebi resistant investment advisor so kindly do your homework give attention to my you know uh, videos every day i'm giving some news some information on numbers which will be very useful for your trading right thanks a lot for watching this video again saying i'm not a sebi resistant investment advisor so kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before uh, you know investing in stock cryptos currencies whatever okay see you soon tomorrow bye good night